Greetings to the faithful remnant of God. I'm Pastor Emeritus Reverend Ron Spratley, and I'd like to welcome you to another prophetic soundbite. Today, we're going to briefly talk about the concept of free will. We're going to uh, use Deuteronomy chapter 30, verses 15 and 19 as our main scriptures this morning. So let's go straight into the word. Deuteronomy 30, 15 and 19. See, I have set before you, I have set before thee this day, life and good and death and evil. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both you and thy seed may live. Okay. One of the things we want to take away from these scriptures is the fact that God gives you an opportunity to choose. Look at this, you can choose. He sets this before you this day, life and good, death and evil, okay? People who have no options have no power. So, God being as gracious as he is, he always gives us an opportunity to choose. Here we can choose life and good, we can choose death and evil. And he comes in verse 19, he talks about the same thing. I've set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, he gives us an option to choose, okay? not only for us, but for our seed, for future generations, okay? So let's get into today's soundbite. Yahweh, God, respects your free will so much that he allows you to choose what you want to walk in, in this life and the life to come, eternity, okay? He gives you a choice. Adam, and Eve had a choice, okay? God did not stop Eve and Adam from partaking from the tree. That's what they chose to do. Okay, point number two, the decisions of individuals and societies decide the quality of life. This is an important interaction. Individuals make up society and when certain individuals become dominant, they influence the society. That's our challenge, okay? We want to have dominant individuals who are godly individuals and who want to follow God and do God's will. Okay, point number three. So many of life's problems are self-imposed or self-induced based upon the following. The result, of wrong thinking, okay, unrighteous thinking, ungodly thinking, failure to follow God's plan. So a lot of our problems are self-imposed or self-induced because our thinking is wrong thinking. B, wrong decisions based on the use of faulty thinking and ideas. We can build up a set or uh, an inventory of faulty thinking and wrong ideas. And we can base our decisions upon wrong ideas and faulty thinking. And once you build up an inventory of faulty thinking and faulty ideas, there's no way you're gonna be able to make good decisions with the free will that God has given you. Number four, when a society suppresses the truth, we talked about this, we did a soundbite on suppressing the truth. Combined with opposing or rebelling against Yahweh's will, 
that society will suffer darkness and destruction. So look at this combination. Once you're unable to sift through the truth, you need the right to sift through the truth. Okay, so you can make a godly and intelligent decision about the choices you want to make with your free will. Once the truth is suppressed, it's impossible for you, for you to make a godly, intelligent decision based on the truth because it's been suppressed. One of the purposes of this channel is to preach the truth, not to force you to make any decision about the kingdom of God, but present the truth to you so you can sift the truth for yourself and make a decision for yourself. So when the truth is suppressed, combine, when you combine with this opposing or rebelling against Yahweh's will, you will suffer darkness and destruction. Number five, doing the will of Yahweh is a source of protection for individuals and societies. So we, first of all, we gotta know God's will in order for us to do God's will. And once we do God's will as individuals and as a society, we can have that protection that can be provided by being in a blood covenant with Yahweh. That's our teaching for today. I wanna to thank you once again for tuning in. I ask you to share with family and friends so we can grow this YouTube channel. And we ask the Lord to bless you and keep you as we move forward. Thank you for your time.